Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I thought it would be fun, a lot of you guys have participated, but to go through the top 10 tractor polls, not polls, but polls, like I polled people on a question and they answered and responded, but to see what the rest of the tractor community is, is thinking or what they're dealing with. So I went old school, I printed them out, the top 10 results, the most popular just based on the amount of votes that, uh, that folks did, and uh, throughout the course of 2022. And without further ado, Let's get to number 10. All right, so with 2,800 votes on this one, have you ever had a flat tire on your tractor? 31% said never, 42% said yes on the front tire, 20% on the rear tire, and 7% they just don't answer poll questions. So the majority of you guys have had a flat tire, and we recently did a video with multi-seal. You can put that stuff right inside your tires, whether it's air or you have liquid in there, there's a solution for either one. You add this stuff, it saves punctures, uh, bead seal leaks, all that kind of stuff. So check that video, then go to multi-seal, you'll save 5% with code GWT. Number nine, most popular with 2,900 votes. What RPM level do you set the throttle when you're starting your tractor? And in fact, we made a whole video dedicated to this topic because it comes up on a fairly regular basis. Our results read, wide open throttle, baby. Only 4% selected that, good on you guys bad on you 4% that do. Not too high, not too low, right in the middle, 23%. And easy does it, low throttle or at idle, 73%. Congratulations, I think that's what most of your tractor manuals say. Always reference your manual. Folks, if you're enjoying this video, take just a moment, hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment too, let us know what you think. And if you own a tractor and need a tractor attachment, we'd love to earn your business. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. Number eight, do you own a tractor and or an ATV or a UTV? And this kind of question here is, is kind of for me to, to relate to my viewers, to you guys, to what to focus on, right? And so if there's a natural segue to go to a different market, this kind of information helps me understand that better. With 3,600 votes, we had five selections here, five choices. Just a tractor for me, dog. 33%, a third of you folks watching, just a tractor. ATV or UTV, 7%. Okay, so that's minority. But the winner, winner chicken dinner, I own both. What did I win? 48% of you voted that. Neither, thanks for rubbing it in, 11%. And you never have the right option for me at 2%. I don't know what option I left out, but that's what they selected. 3,600 votes on this one. What attachment do you use to maintain your gravel driveway? Not install a new driveway, but smooth level regrade an existing gravel drive. Had five choices. The overwhelming winner was the first one. The box blade was 52%, land plane, 13%, rear blade, 16%, landscape rake, 9%, and other 11%. I'm gonna venture a guess that a year from now, if I did this poll, the box plane is gonna start putting a dent in all these other choices. It's a box blade and a land plane, two in one tool, Coming to you in 2023. It's going for a rhyme. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. If you could only pick one tool, to prep ground for seeding a garden, a food plot, lawn, etc. then what would you choose? No surprise here, I think you can probably guess it before even reading the answers, but we'll give it to you anyway. Rototiller, far and away, 78% of you, 3,800 votes total. 78% said rototiller, disc haro, 10% cultivator, 5% plow, 3% other, I don't know what that is, but something other, maybe by hand. It's probably by hand. Turn it, you know, by hand there. 4% selected other. I get a lot of snarky comments anytime I post a tractor that has a belly mower on it, so I think that's why I made this poll. 4,000 votes on it. Do you mow the lawn with your tractor? Or is a, a tractor that has a, a mower on it not actually a tractor? That's the question, huh? Anyway, we got sure do, 44%. Negative Ghost Rider, 30%. And here we go. Real tractors don't mow lawns. 
for the feather rufflers out there, 27% of you folks selected that. Now, my own viewpoint on that, and I covered it again recently, I've talked about it a lot. I can, I can make a case either way. It's nice to have an all-in-one tool. A lot of folks have a subcompact or a small compact tractor. It just makes sense. I get the big farm guys that are like, hey, you know, unless you got something like this, this is small for a farm guy, right? But uh, you can make a case either way. Worst case, get yourself a rear three-point finish mower, just slap it on the back, drive that around, mow your open fields when you need to. And we happen to sell those too. Did you grow up on a farm, around a farm, or work on a farm in your younger years? 4,400 votes on this one with 35% saying, I grew up on a family farm. 27% saying, I grew up around family farms or in a farming community. 18%, I worked on a farm in my younger years. 7%, no exposure at all, AKA a city slicker. And 13%, I didn't, but I wish I woulda. So I described my own answer as well. I said my exposure to farming and tractors was primarily through my grandparents' farm. This was three hours away from us, but I was excited every time we got to visit. Whether sitting on a tractor, walking through fields, or simply smelling the air, it was a place I was drawn to. It stuck with me to this day. If you were buying land, would you want all woods, all fields, or a mixture of both? 5,300 votes poured in for this one. And I did leave out an option of like a stream, a river, a pond, something like that. But we have all woods, only 8% said that's what they'd want. All fields, only 5% said that's what they'd want. A mix of both, fields and woods, 65%. And then I had an all that plus waterfront. That could have been all that plus water is what I should have said. 23% wanted that. We're getting close to the top with 5,500 votes. A pretty simple one, but it caught people's attention. What color is your tractor? Far and away, green was the most popular choice with 45%. But now, when did I, when did I post this? I think it was before the summit came out. Now there's a couple shades of green, okay? So that number will probably bump up a little bit more even. Second place, orange, 27%. Kubota, Coyote, all right. Red, third place, 17%. Quite a few brands under that red spectrum. Blue with 7%. And other, yellow? What, what other colors are there? White? Purple? Oh yeah, Bobcat. Yeah, Chris is right. 5% under other. So all the other colors, whatever, whatever colors you have, that's, uh, that's captured. All right, and our number one poll of the year for 2022 was, is your driveway gravel, concrete, or asphalt? 5,500 votes came in for this one, with gravel, stone, or other aggregate being the overwhelming majority with 57%. Concrete, 15%. Asphalt, 18%. A mixture. 6% and other, what, what is it if it's, if it's other? What is that made of? Bones, probably like crushed bones or seashells. Yeah, 4% for other. All right, that's gonna wrap those up. I got a poll out there right now. I think I just posted it yesterday, actually. We're gonna see where those results are at. How many tractors have you owned? Let's check in on this. We have 2,500 votes on there so far. One tractor. 36% of folks said they've only owned one tractor, two tractors, 18%, three tractors, we're dropping down to 9%. We jump back up though with four or more tractors back up to 19%. We know who has a problem. That's a good problem though, I don't. Just don't show the other tractors, I don't have a problem. Never owned a tractor, 17%. Okay, so quite a broad mix there, but kind of strange, a third of folks, one tractor, if you tack on the never owned a tractor, over half the folks watching are one tractor or fewer. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Alrighty folks, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. I think it's fun to see kind of just a compilation of statistics. I like looking at that stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed that too. If you wanna see and participate in those future polls, we put them on our YouTube community tab. So just, if you're subscribed, that's the easiest way to be notified when a new poll comes out. But it's just fun to get a, just a viewpoint of a breakdown of everybody that's in the tractor world watching and following along. So of course, we'd love to have you subscribe. If you wanna add your answers, leave a comment down below. If you're looking for something for your tractor for the front end loader or the three point hitch, well, we sell and ship attachments all over the country every day of the week. Check out goodworkstractors.com. If there's nothing for you to buy, head on over to our merch shop, get a sweatshirt, a hat, a coffee mug, whatever it is. It's made to order stuff. They'll ship it out to you in a couple of weeks. We don't keep any of the profits from there. We donate it all to charity. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.